Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be preparing my five star enchilada sauce. Now, if any of you have prepared any of my enchilada recipes and tasted the sauce, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, this is a highly requested video and today I'm going to prepare it for you step by step. Let's get started. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using to make my five star enchilada sauce. I have two and a half tablespoons of melted butter, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, three tablespoons of all purpose flour, two teaspoons of my homemade paprika, one and a half tablespoons of my homemade chili powder, but you can use any kind that you want, one teaspoon of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of chicken bouillon, half a teaspoon of Mexican oregano, half a teaspoon of sugar, two teaspoons of tomato paste, one teaspoon of ground cumin, and three cups of chicken broth. So these are the ingredients. Now we can go to the stove. So I'm gonna be using this skillet right here to prepare my enchilada sauce. And I've got my heat set between low and medium. I'm going to add my melted butter. And here is my vegetable oil. Now I like the combination of these two because it'll make a real smooth enchilada sauce right here. Now I'm going to add my flour. And I'm going to make a roux. Now when you make enchilada sauce, you always want to make a roux first. And it's not just a matter of dumping in your flour so that it'll get nice and thick. No, there's a reason why we add the flour. And the reason we add the flour in here and make a roux is because once it gets nice and golden and you cook this flour, it takes on a delicious flavor. Now, when it's white, it's raw. And raw flour doesn't taste good. So you wanna make sure that you wait until your roux is nice and gold. It'll take on a beautiful nutty flavor, and that's what we're waiting for. So you wanna continue moving it around nonstop because you don't want it to burn. Adjust your temperature if you have to, but don't let it cook too quick. So as you can see, my roux is nice and golden and it smells real nutty and delicious in here. This also makes some of the best gravies. That's why you wanna make sure that it's nice and golden. Now I'm gonna add my chili powder. And you wanna move it around nonstop because you don't want it to burn, see? Now I lowered my temperature to low. Now I'm gonna add my paprika. And I'm gonna continue moving them around like this until they get nice and toasty and release their flavor in there with the butter and the oil. So it's been about 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna add my onion powder and continue moving it around nonstop. Now my garlic powder. Oh my gosh, it smells delicious in here. Now I'm gonna add my cumin. And here's my oregano. I'm gonna add a little chicken broth. And move it around slowly like this. Let all these flavors come together. I'm gonna add a little more. You'll have three cups to play with, but you wanna do it slowly, a little bit at a time. Temperature set on low. I'm gonna add a little more chicken broth. And here's my chicken bouillon. Now you can use better than bouillon if you'd like, but I like the chicken bouillon better. And 
and I'm going to add the rest of my chicken broth. And as I continue stirring it, it's going to start getting a little thicker and thicker because the all-purpose flour is your thickening agent. Take your time when making your enchilada sauce and it'll be the best enchilada sauce you've ever made. Now, if you don't have freshly made chili powder and paprika like I do, you can use store-bought. I'll put a link below to my chili powder video so you can watch it and maybe you want to make your own. So it's been five minutes and my enchilada sauce is just perfect. See how it's gotten a lot thicker? Now I always like to let it simmer like this for 10, 15, 20 minutes. As long as you continue to stir it, it'll be just fine. Otherwise, it'll form a skin on top. So that's why you have to continue moving it around. Now I'm going to turn off my heat. And here it is. Now this enchilada sauce is perfect on your cheese enchiladas, beef, chicken, any kind of enchiladas that you like. You can top your burritos with it, your chimichangas, you can put it over your eggs, you can put it in your tacos, quesadillas, whatever you like. It's just absolutely delicious. Now, I always prepare this enchilada sauce the day that I'm gonna use it, but you can prepare it two to three days before and you can put it in an airtight container in your refrigerator. Now, if it gets a little thick on you, you can always water it down with a little bit of chicken broth or a little bit of water and then warm it up on your stovetop. Now, I've never frozen it. Like I said, I always prepare it the day that I'm gonna use it, but I've heard that you can freeze it. Maybe you can read on it and decide what it is that would work best for you. So this is my delicious five-star enchilada sauce. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.